Hello everybody, my name is Holger Putz and today I would like to show you how you can run Rietveld refinement calculations with our software package Match. For this tutorial video we will be using Match version 2.1.2 .2. so if you are using a different Match version things may look a little bit different on your screen. First of all I have to run the Match software which can be done by double clicking here on this icon on the desktop. And now Match automatically asks for the diffraction data file we would like to import. In this case I would like to use the Lanternum Hexaborite example that is present in the tutorial subfolder of the Match program directory. And if I press open, Match now asks for the experimental details because they are not present in the diffraction data file. In this case I have to adjust the wavelength that was used to record the diffraction data which was Kappa K alpha 1. And once I've pressed OK, Match imports the raw diffraction data, runs an automatic raw data processing and also a first search match calculation. The result can be seen here below in the candidate list. The most promising candidate phase is lanternum boride, which is no surprise actually. And I will now select this phase as matching, for example, by pressing this button here in the toolbar. Now Match tries to find the next matching phase, but in this case it suggests neon, which is not very likely. So I just press escape and finish the phase identification. Now we have everything we need for the Rietveld refinement. We have the raw diffraction data and we have crystal structure data here from this selected entry. In order to run the Rietveld refinement we can for example press this FP button here. FP is an abbreviation for full prof and should be regarded as a reminder that full prof will actually perform the calculations in the background later on. Once I've pressed this button, the parameter turn on dialog is displayed and by default the automatic Rietveld refinement is suggested. We will just leave it as it is at the moment and simply run this automatic calculation. Now full prof will be started in the background and process the calculation. And now we have some changes here in the diffraction pattern graphics. As you can see the difference plot is now uh, displayed here as well as the calculated pattern from the Rietveld calculation so that we can see the progress of the calculation. In addition we have the Rietveld tab here on the upper right hand side being displayed instead of the normal restraints tab. Here we can see the status of the current calculation as well as some numerical indicators for the quality of the agreement between the experimental and the calculated diffraction pattern. Well the result of the calculation is not bad but the question is can it still be improved? And in order to check this I would like to take a closer look at the strongest peak in the diffraction pattern and zoom into it and uh, compare the profile from the experiment to the one resulting from the Rietveld refinement. As you can see here the blue curve, which is the experimental one, shows some kind of asymmetry, while the green curve, which resulted from the Rietveld refinement, does not. And the background is simply that uh, symmetric profile function was used in the Rietveld refinement calculation. So we should now run a second Rietveld refinement calculation and use an asymmetric profile function in order to improve the result. And uh, in addition, we should also adjust the 2 theta axis as well as the intensity scaling in order to reduce these deviations. In order to run the second Rietveld refinement calculation, I could either use this FP button as before or I can press this Run New Calculation button here on the right hand side. 
both will bring up the parameter turn on dialog and this time I do not want to use the automatic reach felt refinement but select the parameters manually instead. Let me first give you a short overview over the parameter turn on dialog. In this dialog you mark the parameters that you would like to refine in the next full prof calculation. The parameters are grouped according to three selections. We have beginner, advanced and expert. Here on this beginner tab you will find the most common parameters that are also used during the automatic reach felt refinement along with a certain suggested order in which they should be included in the refinement process. But this is not mandatory. You can select any parameter as you like. On the advanced tab you will find the parameters grouped according to the effect they have on the diffraction pattern. For example according to pos peak positions, peak intensities and the profile shape. And finally we have the experts tab where you have access to all parameters. There is a certain subdivision according to global parameters and parameters that are specific for a certain selected phase. For each selected phase we again have subtabs on which the parameters are grouped according to quantitative analysis, profile shape, stress strain analysis and the crystal structure. For now I would like to use the advanced tab because I would like to refine the according to the effects they ha I have seen in the diffraction pattern. First of all I would like to refine the two theta shift and well maybe I could also include the specimen displacement. I'm not sure if it will work to refine both parameters at the same time but uh, let's see. Here on the right hand side you may have noticed that both parameters I have activated have been added to this list of active parameters. Here you can get an overview over all parameters that are currently marked for being refined in the next full prof calculation along with the current value and the constraints you may have entered. Let's return back to marking the parameters. In addition to the 2 theta shift I would also like to refine the scaling factors and finally of course most important the profile shape parameters. As I have already mentioned I would like to get rid of this symmetric pseudo forked function and would like to use an asymmetric function like the split pseudo forked function. So this function now has separate parameters for the left and the right part of the diffraction peak so these can be refined separately. I will now add parameters for the profile function and as you can see we have left parameters and right parameters. I would like to add the asymmetry parameters and finally I would also like to refine the background. So if you now press run full prof the calculation will be performed and oops it didn't work in this case the calculation did not converge so uh, maybe I have to change the model that is the parameters uh, I would like to vary. In this case we have a singular matrix probably because of some problem with the asymmetry parameter but I'm not sure about this because as I have already mentioned I have uh, instructed full prof to vary both the uh, to theta shift as well as the specimen displacement this may be some kind of critical so I would first like to correct this I will again press the run new calculation button here and go back to the peak positions tab and remove the hook for the specimen displacement so that this parameter will be kept fixed and now we'll repeat the calculation and let's see if it works now. Okay, it takes a little bit of time but as you can see here now the reed felt refinement has converged and also the comment from full prof is your refinement seems to be very good 
the agreement factors have reduced and also you can see in the diffraction pattern that the agreement between the calculated and the experimental peak is now much better. So let's return to the full diffraction pattern. Before finishing I would like to draw your attention to these buttons that are available here uh, at the bottom of the Readfeld tab. First of all there's the button view results. Here you can get an overview over the parameters that have been varied in the last Readfeld refinement calculation both with their previous value as well as the value that resulted from the Readfeld refinement. In addition you have access to the original full prof files that are used or produced during the calculation. For example, here is the output file from the full prof calculation. You can go more into detail if you would like to do so. There are other files available, for example, the PCR file that is used to control the calculation. Here is a button called Display Correlated Parameters and if I press this I will get a table of parameters that have shown to be correlated during the calculations. That is, they cannot be varied independent from each other and uh, parameters like these can cause convergence problems. So if your refinement does not converge, uh, the first step to do is to take a look at this list. Finally we have the save resulting files button. Here you can back up the original full prof files resulting from the calculation so that you can take a look at them later on or transfer them to some other computer. We have this button using which you can access the Readfeld options tab of the match options dialog. Here you can for example select the directory where your full prof software is installed. You can tell the program which tab it should display first when you open the parameter turn on dialog. You can select if the automatic readfeld refinement should be default or not and some other options. And here on the bottom right hand side we now have the help button. If you press this the online help will be displayed right at the chapter where you can read about some hints, tips and tricks for Readfeld refinement. This may be useful especially if you are new to Readfeld refinement. Okay, finally I would like to draw your attention to the report of Match. Here you can get all the information about your diffraction data you have imported, the phases you have selected as matching, the candidates that were still present, the parameters that were used in the search match calculation, the peak list that was used and now that's new in the uh, version 2.1 the Readfeld refinement results. Both the uh, numerical agreement parameters as well as the parameter, the individual parameters that were varied during the calculation and the ones that were kept fixed. So now our Readfeld refinement calculation is finished. Thank you for your attention and uh, have a nice day. Bye.